Good evening, loved ones. <laughs> it is I, your favorite man, Bola. We ain't doing nothing but this evening, but uh, trying to beat the storm. But whatever it brings, you can't do nothing about it. So all you can do is just run fuck up <laughs> or something to that nature. But pray most of the time that the good Lord don't tear you up too bad. You did. So how's y'all day going so far? How's your day going? Oh. That's good. Besides the weather. Yeah. Like, like, like your gang said, oh, my day's going okay. Really, thanks for asking. <laughs> thanks for asking. My day is going great. Thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah. We ain't doing too much, man. Just taking day by day, if you will. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. Yeah, take it one day at a time. Somebody please tell me, man. Or tell these a fuck niggas, man, that look. Uh if you want your ass kicked so bad, why don't you put up some money? Put some money down. You did right there. Put it right there. It match my money. And then I put these motherfuckers on you because, man, niggas be acting like bitches. I'm telling you, man, like like straight hoes. And don't be surprised if, if some of these niggas out here be trying to act like they real men, but they really, they really faggots. They're always pressing on somebody like a bitch. Like, damn, bitch, what do you want? What do you want, man? The fuck out of my face, man. God damn. You know? You had to like act like a bitch because you got to tell them, why don't you go get one of them bitches to play with? I'm a whole grown ass man. Now, if you really, if today you want to fight, you know, this morning, you know, you want to fight, you know, just chose a nigga to fight. Let me tell you something, man. Put some store up, put your money up. And with me, man, I'm a Mayweather. I'll beat your motherfucking ass for real. You see how he don't get into all that conflictual talking. Right? He don't do all that. And he lets you talk. And then when you get your ass in that ring, he beat. When it's time to go, he whoops your fucking ass. Then you go over there crying to the motherfuckers. You want something to happen anyway. You make it when you, you started the shit. You got your ass whooped. And then you're going to run back over there to the police and act like a fucking hoe. That you just got, the dude went crazy and just started beating you up. Bitch, 
it's funny how you not fucking with them kind of niggas that don't mind beating your ass up for free, bitch. Crumple your ass up and throw you in the ditch over there and that's where they fucking find you. Why are you so smart to avoid them niggas but you come over there, somebody that's got their head down trying to figure and work on something or do something. You, you figure you just going to choose somebody who to fuck with. And it's always the same result when it comes to me if you ain't checked my record. Every motherfucking body that ever stepped to me with some bullshit got their ass whooped. Handed to them. Because I'm a simple guy. I don't want no problem. I mean, I'll go around the bush with you a few times and keep talking like, really? That, well, I mean, why is you? And then you force my hand. I whoop your fucking ass. Police come over there, want to arrest me or trust or, or, or give me the third. Get bitch, he called you because he got his ass whooped. Do you know why he got his ass whooped? Because he didn't tell you that part. He was over here fucking with somebody and he got his ass whooped. Or should we say this is really, really why I say is you Rico motherfucker? Now, you sent him over here. The run tell it motherfucker over here fucking with me. Then when he got his ass whooped, you had some reason to be involved. And all of a sudden, I'm the aggressor because I didn't run over there and say, oh, you fuck with me. I had to defend myself. Fuck you. Now take your goddamn informant, you and your fuck ass, nothing ass, dirty bitch, cop, fake cop bitch, and that motherfucking run teller informant ass nigga, and both to you get the fuck out of my face or you gonna really get some too, bitch. But I know how to handle you because you in the bushes. So burn the bushes up, bitch. Nine times out of ten, you'll come running out of that, you will come running out of that motherfucker with flames all up on your ass. When you start fucking with people, you better learn who you fucking with. Let me give you a real quick one, motherfucker. Stop fucking with people. Learn to stop fucking with people. That's for free. Just because you're mobbed up with a bunch of them, then later on you want to talk like you got some sense. That's a, some more shit. When you sitting there and you there's someone there supposed to be important, you're going to sit there and, I mean, you're just going to really act like a fucking bitch. Shit all on the motherfucker in public and talk about him like he ain't pay his motherfucking child support and all this kind of shit. You wouldn't be doing this shit too in public. Then when everybody gone on some fucking way, you talking like it's normal, like that's normal. Bitch, something wrong with you. You're not going to turn around and start talking to me like we friends and shit, or that's the norm. Don't you know that's why they find these motherfuckers dead and shit? That's why they find them fucked off. You're going to just step up, like, say there was a supervisor or somebody. You done ran over there and shit on them, told them all kind of bullshit. You like to keep a whole lot of shit going. But soon, but soon as somebody like, I ain't going for nothing, I know what the deal is, and, and smack the shit out of you. You know what I mean? Like, little kid, you just gonna, you gonna hyphy and act all a goddamn fool on somebody in public. They gotta stand there and woe back and not even... Like you, like it's a joke or something. Yeah, like it's a fucking joke or something. A nigga from Louisiana, I said, yeah, they got a lot of, he said, man, you know what's funny? Is these motherfuckers, you'll be standing there talking to some of these people coming from the church or whatever. This motherfucker will stand right up there, go come intervene in the conversation and start talking down to the person that's speaking to him and then cut in and start talking about their bullshit. Don't ask, don't say no excuse me or nothing. Or shit on you, all to the people around you, on you. 
He said, you know, and then they want to curl their ass up in a goddamn blanket and go to sleep behind one of these fucking buildings or something. And got the nerve after you've done that. You see this? It's been plenty of them. Catch your motherfucking ass. And Louisiana niggas don't hardly talk. They can't stand most of the Arkansas niggas at the fuck off. They stay run tell it ass niggas. They shit on you in public. Like it's that desperate. You can't wait your turn and talk to that person. Ask because you gonna just bomb a person and start talking your shit. And then because you seen them uh, sitting down eating a bowl of soup at the goddamn Sally some fucking where. You think uh, you going to play them into an old slapstick you do every fucking day to people that you know. You don't even know this motherfucker. Yeah. It's been some real killers off in this motherfucker. He'll tell you one fucking time, go on, I ain't rapping. You come with that mouth and shit and all that talking and shit. Go ahead, man, I ain't rapping. Trying to expose him. You know, he being all quiet and shit. He's like everybody else trying to observe, get what he going. He ain't, he ain't got time. He or she don't have time to be talking to you. We ain't buddy. We don't drink. I suck out the same whiskey bottle and shit. And then you come up, you do some shit like that. But don't say a fucking word. Next thing you know, wait till he go and take his fucking ass or bum ass and crawl up under one of them blankets in between them buildings somewhere and take a bat just like this and beat that motherfucker to dead in his fucking, in that, in that blanket and leave his fucking ass. You niggas, you better learn that. Stop fucking with people. You can get served. You can get all what you keep begging for. You ain't got condition in fucking with people. Ain't nobody. You ain't even that goddamn police officer's buddy. You just a fucking mutt ass, informant, snitch ass nigga. That's all the fuck you are. All you gotta do is ask you about any goddamn rat ass shit. That he don't fucking know. And then the motherfucker will make up some shit. How in the fuck is you going to go past the, the, the shit that at from beginning to end, when it's all said and done, the motherfucker going to drop the gamble and, and, and it is what it is. Whether you like it or not. Then you going to come out here and you still want to press that shit. What you talking about? Again, that goddamn bat fit anybody's ass that's fucking around and you don't know how to stop fucking with people. Yeah, shitting on people. That's defamation of character. Some people take that shit and go to a civil case and motherfucker shit on me and said all kind of shit and it caused me a problem. Then wait on the courts to wait on this motherfucker To clean up all that bullshit and pay a motherfucker for all the shit you fucked up. Some motherfuckers, it's all right. I'll teach your goddamn ass, nigga. You, you, you like paranoia? Take this goddamn bat and beat your motherfucking head the fuck off your shoulder. You niggas better learn to stop fucking with people. Your little pussy ass cop or whatever, the fake ass motherfucker, he ain't nothing. He just like anybody, any other citizen, he ain't shit. Using the next motherfucker because you that goddamn dumb. You don't know how to take your weight or none of that shit. You do, but you don't. And you running around with him because you is either cuffed the fuck up or give you somebody. You can't take your fucking weight, Nick. That's on the loo. Take your motherfucking weight. Shut your motherfucking mouth on people. In the Bible, it tells you about your running your fucking mouth. Gossiping. Telling some untruths on people. All kind of shit. See, I can't stand no 
squirm, squirm, little piece of parasite motherfucker like that. I can't. You crawl out from under a rock anytime and start fucking with somebody, and then you slither your nasty ass back under a rock some fucking way. Or it be a platform of people. Motherfucker wanna wait till you get around a majority of people that he might know and you don't. Then he wants, or she, and she, and female do it too. And then start running some other bullshit. By the time you get to the other side of the room, you any and everything but the child of God. All for this little nasty mouth motherfucker. Like a goddamn mutt following you around. Ain't none of my fucking dog. I don't even know this motherfucker. It's a way to catch some motherfucker. And when you do, bitch, I don't feel nothing for you when you get caught up. Because sometimes... Yeah, you want to you wanna fall back when you get, oh, I don't know none of them. Yeah, ain't that different? And if a motherfucker is that fucking, he got it popping like that to where it's too late. By the time you turn your ass around uh, and you can't, I'm going to go this, I'm going uh, to turn all the way around and go back. You, you caught up. That part, bitch. Better, niggas better learn to stop fucking with people. Because some people are not afraid of them. Some people take their fucking weight. And when they tell you, listen, bitch, when I'm locked up, I don't have no choice. But when I'm in the free world, get your goddamn faggot, donut eating ass, bitch ass, faggot, punk ass, bitch ass on, motherfucking clown. Yeah, I'm telling you straight to your face, take your ass, clown. Cause you get dealt with too, cause the most listen, let me tell you something. Motherfucker, where can you run? How you gotta do the same thing as anybody else when they get up. Eat. Drink. Shit. Piss. Lay your funky ass down, and go to sleep. Some people's minds is this long. Some people's mind, damn it, you can wrap the world up in it. You understand where I'm coming from, motherfucker? Yeah, shake your head. You understand. It's an integrity. It's a difference if a motherfucker's doing something, but you ain't going to make it out that somebody's doing something. Do you understand where I'm coming from, motherfucker? You're not going to create the shit and then turn around. Oh, you foiled the crime. You and your fucking nutting ass little, them little snitches you got. Yeah, bitch, I'm talking to you if this shoe fit. If this is touching your ass, because you know who you are. And that's on the loo, motherfucker. And if you don't know what the loo is, bitch, East St. Louis, St. Louis, motherfucker, the arch, whenever you get done, bitch, on that. The experts on make a motherfucker take your weight, bitch. Grab you by your head, sock your ass the fuck up, bitch. Tell your motherfucking head swell this goddamn bit. You gonna understand. The world is bigger than that little dude, that little funky ass fart bubble you got going on. Funky motherfucker. Yeah, pull your head out your ass, stop fucking with people, bitch. That's straight out from Mo Love telling to you from out the motherfucking man cave, you D. In the man cave and outside the man cave. Don't change, bitch. I'm Mo Love. You understand that? And, and some of you motherfucker old and rusty. Since when you need to be playing a motherfucker, player hating a motherfucker to, for a piece of pussy? Women out here. You get in the presence of where all of a sudden you showing how slick you is and all this all bullshit, bitch. Get for real. It's easy. Either your rap ain't no goddamn good, nigga. Or your pockets is short. By the time you get done, all that goddamn bullshit, 
She don't need you for nothing else. You understand me? Some of y'all got a whole bitch at home. You still want to play or hate a nigga to see if you still got. That's bullshit. Because some people, they keep their hand, they play clean just in case, you know what I mean? For just such an occasion. Don't act like you don't know how the game go. God damn it. Because like I said, that bat fit anybody. Don't get your ass, don't get your head whooped off your goddamn shoulders over some pussy. You could have just stuck your hand in your pocket, gave that woman some motherfucking money. Chances are, what's the chances are she just might have a goddamn condom in her pocket? If you ain't got one. See, you gotta raise old motherfucking niggas like young niggas. Wake your motherfucking ass up. You're so fast and slick. All you gotta do is that. Reach in your pocket. Get a couple of fucking dollars, give it to her, and she let you bust off, motherfucker. She don't need no pimp. You can't produce nothing. She don't need you to go around and 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 and, and and drop off a fucking calling card to the rest of the men around there. And you want to try to eliminate or have a problem. You want to play or hate all the niggas like she needs to be coming to you. When all the niggas that's standing around there ain't even the biggest. Ain't, he, he, you ain't the bear with the honeycomb, bitch. It's a whole nigga you don't know nothing about. Could be watching the whole time and come down there, man. And just like I said, get down wrong. Roar! You hear that roar, but that big ass fucking bear paw come and slap your fucking head off your goddamn shoulders. He ain't waiting. You understand, motherfucker? See, some of you niggas, I don't believe all you niggas is Arkansas niggas. I don't. I think some of you niggas come from some fucking where else. And then you come down here trying to act like you've been here all your motherfucking life. Some of your family might have been here all their motherfucking life. But I don't believe y'all do because, see, it's a way. It, it's a mentality. It's, it, it shows. I learned to quit fuck with people, man. You be dealt with. If you like your life, which, sorry, motherfucking ass, recover, learn to stop fucking with people from this point on and take your monkey ass on somewhere and stop fucking with people, bitch. Like a young man said today, motherfucker, t oh, well, yeah, we, we sitting in the meeting talking and I was listening to him and he said, you know, he left a job, he's working on his damn barge. And the reason he left his damn job and didn't never go back because this, this supervisor or whoever the fuck he was told him don't ever talk to him without looking him in the eye or some bullshit. And he felt totally disrespected, but it was some shit. You know what I'm saying? He just kept fucking with him. And he was really just saying, I got the idea for real. Everybody, uh, you know, you need to take a lot of shit out of people when you're around them and you can't let nobody stop you. Yeah, all those things flashed through his mind, I'm quite sure. But you know him being a younger guy. They trying to bust knowledge, you know. And it's like, yeah, go in your room, go in your handbook if you work. But it really wasn't one of them jobs, neither. He said, well, it wasn't nobody to go rap to that way. It wasn't no big corporation or no. So he decided he wasn't coming back. You know, I figured it out and pretty much they did too. Him being a young man, he was 21, this, that, and the other in the third degree. If he came back, as soon as that motherfucker opened his goddamn mouth to say something to him that day, you did, he wasn't going to do no goddamn talking. He was going to take that back. And whoop that motherfucker head off his goddamn shoulders. That mean, bitch, don't fuck with me never no more in life. He ain't gonna make sure you don't fuck with him no motherfucking more in life. He ain't walk around and be afraid of nothing. Or be burdened by something every day. 
and it ain't a corn in his fucking shoe on his foot. And old niggas is even, they worse than, they like a bitch, old soggy bitch. They be teaching the, the younger old motherfuckers this dumb shit. Now I'm gonna tell you something, you old dumb motherfucker. Don't keep fucking around. Tell some of these niggas, somebody you keep fucking with, peep you out. Or it could be somebody in the crowd. They just don't condone the shit. Be like, look, I don't want this motherfucker. I don't want that shit. Like, that's like Corona. If I don't kill this shit, it might kill somebody around me. But if I don't kill this shit, it's gonna be eventually get me. So I better go ahead and handle this motherfucker. Let me let you know that, motherfucker. And you just, it's like it's embedded in your ass. You's a fuck nigga anyway. Well, you know the saying about <laughs> honor among thieves. Bitch, there ain't any. See? That's fucked up. Other people... Get their mind right and start living the way the good law say to live. And then you still got these stragglers. They just like love. They ain't satisfied unless they're keeping some shit going. One motherfucking day, bitch, that shit is going to buck back in your ass. Karma back on your ass like fucked up like a toilet that ain't going to flush after you done put all them goddamn... King Kong gorilla shit turds up in that motherfucker. And you gotta be the one to clean it up. Now, back to my scheduled program, and that's this bass guitar. But you know me. Every once in a while, I express how the fuck I feel. Find something else for a pastime. That's what the fuck I'm telling you, bitch. And who knows? You know. Don't really know. He just gave us this scenario. Who knows he didn't go get his uncle or somebody else to play that shit. And remove that motherfucker. So that his nephew can get his fucking bread. Bitch. Yeah, niggas better learn. Stop fucking with people. Them rules apply to you too. Ass out them bushes, you bitch ass motherfucker. And a cop or whoever, if that a fake motherfucker, anybody can do that shit. You need no motherfucking certificate, no badge up on you. And half the motherfuckers, not really, it's just some security shit. They trying to make it look like they important. Motherfuckers go to jail for perpetrating and all kind of other shit. It's your fucking mind right, bitch. You get used to fucking with people that don't know these things and they ain't that adamant about the book. You like fucking when you tell you think everybody you run across. But I'm going to teach you something about motherfuckers in the South. They might act like that and then turn out they smarter than you because it'd be a test. They could, You have to sit down and pencil that shit. You talk a good talk, but can't do shit with that pencil. That person listens to you like they don't know a goddamn thing at all and go there and bust the goddamn test, the, the pencil part. And go on and can go through the procedures and everything else. Bitch, get your mind right. Stop fucking with people. If you do have one, 
snatch that motherfucker, bash down his gun, turn him in, and kick his ass on out the fucking door. Because that's the reason, one of the main reasons around here and down in the South and everywhere, there's so many unsolved fucking, unsolved cases. When you ought to look who, who the fuck was around there, who the fuck was supposed to be doing the job. Why, if you were so local, why the fuck you got to call somebody way over in, 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 in Alligator County some fucking way? It's your fucking mind right, nigga. And that's my blues for this, this evening. I had to just drop that. You know what I'm saying? I had to just drop that off in your ear for a hot second. If you've been going through that, I'm telling you right now, motherfucker's not going to go for it, shit. You dig what I'm talking about? Because people want peace. You understand? They don't want all this goddamn stress and shit. And if you like to stress people, you got too much time on your fucking hands. And bitch, let me tell you something. I don't fight for free. You understand me? You can get your ass whooped, but put your goddamn money down. You understand where the fuck I'm coming from? And I will drop some science on you. Yeah, you're going to pay for that class. You will get it. Other than that, I don't got shit else for you. You want to be a man about it. You just want to fight with bitch. Look here. I'm telling you. 
I'm like Mayweather or, or, or Errol Spence or, or Terrence Crawford. Even they got a hot one in their, in their pocket somewhere for your ass. They don't fight for free. Fuck you. Quit get your retarded ass out from around if the security don't get at you first. They get, keep plenty of motherfuckers. Man, they don't give a fuck. They will dead your ass like a dog and leave you right there. You understand where the fuck I'm coming from, nigga? Yeah, that part. Shit. Like these women, same thing. Shit, they don't want to fuck for free. Learn that, that good pussy. It's good whether it's a great big ass pussy or a little teeny wing tiny ass pussy. You understand? Ass is ass, motherfucker. You want some? Well, then you don't want them to go your ass and get out of my face. Because they got that shit for you, boy. They keep a hot one in their pocket, too. Knock your fucking head off your shoulder. Cause women not playing either. Not no mo. Nice and sweet. And then you don't come to a point and just be the fucking devil or a monster all of a sudden. Be like, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Wait a minute. Let me get it fixed for you. Wait a minute. Yeah. And pull off and let me pull my drawers off and bam. Better learn to stop fucking with people, nigga. You and the motherfucker. Get your ass out the bushes. Deputy Doolittle. Get your ass out of the bushes, bitch. Learn to stop fucking with people. I'm more love. And you're getting it straight out of the man cave today. It's me and my bass guitar, and we shall be back with some more something. Just had to thump the bass a little piece. You know, hear that, that rumble. You dig? So I'll be back. You stay tuned.